1989, poet Meng Lang was working as an editor at Shenzhen University. A native of Shanghai, he had moved to one of China's most rapidly developing cities. Meng says the southern city near Hong Kong offered a unique window into the 1989 students' movement. Shenzhen was the only place in China where we could freely watch TV news from Hong Kong. Every household could watch Hong Kong news. Every building had an antenna called a fishbone antenna. So we knew everything that had happened to the students' movement from the death of Hu Yaobang to the repression on June 4th. Watching those news broadcasts, Meng says, Hong Kong's support was unmistakable. There were many demonstrations. They also collected a lot of money to send to the students in Beijing's Tiananmen Square. In 1989, Hong Kong was facing the reality of returning to China eight years after, so people in Hong Kong had a question about that. The question, Meng says, was whether the freedom the city-state had enjoyed as a British colony could be sustained under Chinese rule. Twenty-five years later, Hong Kong has transitioned to be a part of China, but has retained an independent legal system and a free press. It is also the only place in China where the events of the spring 1989 are commemorated every year. On Sunday, thousands of people joined the march in memory of June 4th. Sin Ka Kuen is a student in Hong Kong. For the last 25 years, the CCP is always refused to talk about the June 4th. So that's why we come here every year. 60 years old Mr. Dan was also at the march. I will use my last strengths to remember the Chinese democratic movement. This year, Hong Kong is deciding over the details of universal suffrage in 2017 and 2020. Pro-democracy activists say Beijing is trying to pass a law which will exclude dissenting voices from participating as candidates. Li Chiu-Kian is one of the organizers of Sunday's march. So in Hong Kong, when we still have the space, we should come and protest. And it's also about Hong Kong, because uh, if there are suppression in China, you know, they are also trying to interfere in, uh, into the, our freedom in Hong Kong. In the weeks leading up to the anniversary, authorities in Beijing have detained activists, scholars and intellectuals because of their efforts to privately commemorate those who died in 1989. Rebecca Valley reporting for VOA in Hong Kong.